Welcome to our tutorial about the contour flange tool. Let's start by creating a new file. Sheet metal millimeter part. And let's create an open profile now using the line tool. Right click, done. And now a three point arc. Something like this, right click, done. And let's finish the sketch. We'll take an isometric view. And we're ready to activate the contour flange tool. It's on the Create panel of the Sheet Metal tab. Let's select our profile. Here we choose the side as well as the direction of the flange. Let's click OK. And let's redefine our sketch. Right click, Redefine. I'm going to use the XZ plane. Let's create a second profile on this face here. Activate the line tool. Let's create a profile. Something like this. Right click, done. And let's finish the sketch. Activate the contour flange tool again and let's select our profile. There we go. Now we need to select an edge. Let's get this one, and this one. Maybe a third one. If I try to select this one, however, the curved edge, I'm not able to. But I'm able to select this edge. Let's see if it causes a problem or not, and one more edge, this edge here. At this point, I'll click OK. Contour flange creation failed. OK, let's edit. Hold down the Shift key and deselect this problematic edge. Click OK again. And our contour flange seems to be fine. Let's delete contour flange too, but let's keep the sketch. Click OK. Now let's go and edit sketch one. Double click on it. We'll select this arc and delete it. Let's exit the sketch. Activate the contour flange tool again. And we select our profile. Now let's try loop mode. Click down here. Let's select this edge. There we go, here's our first loop. We don't have a preview, and as you know by now, that is a sign of trouble. Let's click OK. We get some suggestions in the error message box. Redefine inputs, decrease bend radius. Double click on Edge 2, and let's go make some changes. We'll select and delete this little line here. And let's exit our sketch. Now activate the Contour Flange tool again. Select our profile. Activate loop mode, and I'm able to loop along the top face. Here's our preview. Let's select the second loop. And here's our second preview. We've got a number of glyphs on the preview. If we click on them, we can edit each flange and corner separately. Let's check the gap option and change the gap size. Let's multiply it by 3. Let's check here to change the relief type. And let's check here to modify the relief size. We'll multiply the existing value by 2. And click OK. And let's click OK to accept. Now let's create a flat pattern. As you see, we've got a different corner relief right here. Let's right click and delete contour flange 3. Let's delete it. Keep the sketches and features. OK. Let's double click on Sketch 2 and edit it. I've got one more thing I wanted to show you. Finish the sketch. Let's activate the Contour Flange tool now. We select the profile. And now let's select the edges. I'm able to easily create flanges that point in different directions. However, notice in this corner, I don't have a corner glyph, as we do over here. If I click OK now, I'm going to get an error message. Let's try it out. Flange body intersects with the existing body, or self-intersects. Let's click Edit. Now let's go and select this glyph. Here we can select Width, for example. 
Let's use the offset option. Offset it by one millimeter from this edge. This adjustment I just made should fix this problem. Let's click OK and check it out. That's probably not the best way to create a flange, but it is possible. All right, let's delete this feature and edit Sketch 1. Exit the sketch. There's a problem with a constraint. Let's accept Inventor's solution to rebuild the constraint. We'll edit Sketch 2 now. You can see this pink dot at this vertex. It's hard to see, but that's what's causing the problem. We need to delete it. If we're not able to delete that dot, we're going to need to delete the related geometry. Now the dot is more visible. Let's select it and delete it. Let's click Project Geometry. Select this vertex. Activate the Line tool and reconnect these vertices. Right-click, Done. Now let's exit the sketch and activate the Contour Flange tool again. We select our profile. Then we select our edges, this edge and this edge. Let's go to the Corner tab and uncheck Apply Auto Mitering. Let's click OK. Now let's modify Sketch 2 a little bit. Something like this, exit the sketch. But we get an error message, flange body intersects with existing body or self intersects. Let's accept contour flange again. Let's go back to the corner tab and check apply auto mitering. OK. And now everything looks much better. And this concludes our tutorial about the contour flange tool.